This is uh, Andy Biggs. Uh -huh. um, Rep uh, migrant surge is massive national security humanitarian crisis. Rep Andy Biggs. This is there. There. This is on Varney and Company. Um, at this point during the day, stock market's up thirty six five nineteen ninety six. After I guess this is after the ninety dip we saw earlier. Um, um, Joe Rogan is four foot eleven. Is he? I, don't, I mean, I gotta say, when I met him in person, he didn't feel that short. <laughs> I, I want to say he's taller than that, right? But uh, this is Fox Business. Crude oil, crude oil, seventy six eighty three. It's up. Gold is eighteen twelve seventy, which they're always excited about. Uh, they love when pretty rocks do well. I mean, fucking Anco is in gold. You know, and then there's piles of cash. Blah, blah, blah. This is selling something. I, this is the previous story, and then they're getting into this Andy Biggs interview, I guess. Uh, Congressman Andy Biggs, Republican from Arizona, joins me now. Great to see you, Congressman. Uh, uh, how are businesses in your state reacting to this hike in the minimum wage? Oh, it's terrible. I, it's uh, What are you going to do? Arizona to raise the minimum wage, 1280 in the new year. This is, uh, this is a tough question for him to ask because his own state did it. Five, six. That makes sense. Yeah. I do have a cool cat. Yeah, he's 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 hanging out. He's halfway between like I want to sleep, but I also want to play with your stuff. So he's he's he gets sits there for a minute, and then he gets ad. He's like oh, I gotta do something. Oh no, no never mind. I'm gonna go sleep. Hey buddy, you're a sweet boy. You are a sweet boy. You're an integral part of the show. They love you. Yes. The audience loves you. And I don't even have to ask you to be in here. I don't have to go find you anymore. He runs in and hops in my lap. <laughs> well, it's certainly a problem. Uh, this was done by voters through <laughs> an initiative process, and they triggered it to the CPI. Dear God. Well, that sounds like a problem. Oh, Deirdre, thank you. Hold on one second. Um, Eric, thank you so much. Newsmax correction time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Whoops. Uh... Thank you for that. So, so it's, it's going to keep going up. But, but the problem, I just... Uh yes, those fucking voters in Arizona. You know when the voters actually get what they want and they vote for it? It's just terrible. And it's improving business in the state, which it fucking well is. By the way, this is going up, 1280 in the new year. And uh, you want to see what else is happening? Uh, that have nothing to do with the work of Andy Biggs in Arizona. Um, let's see, Arizona, because I was just there in Tempe doing stand-up. Um, there we go. Let's see. <laughs> get that thing out. I just smit. allow. Okay, that's fine. Phoenix business. Get out of the way. I'll, uh, no, I don't want. Why would I want push notifications? You lunatic. Um, get, God, no thanks. Move on. Get the, click, can we clear this graphic out of the way? Holy hell. All right, I'm picking a different page. This is, I'll find another news source. Um, um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Hold on. Um, small serious points, etc. Well, let's see. Da, 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 da. I'll just go back to the all because that came up on another one. Um, there you go. Mom, you just look at this one. June 1st, 2021. TSMC says it has begun construction at its Arizona chip factory site. Uh, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company Limited. By the way, uh, best chip manufacturer in the world. This is, you know how sometimes we'll go to war for oil? And people concerned about we need oil so bad that we will, uh, you know, fight for other countries just so we have access to the oil and that kind of thing we've had in the past. So we've sidled up to dictators to get oil. Um, you could argue that our protection of Taiwan, even though Taiwan is a great country with great leadership and a democratically elected uh, president and a real functioning government, that one of the big reasons why we're protecting Taiwan from Chinese encroachment and um, you know, basically being subjugated is because we need these chips more than we need oil. So, and and one of the ways we're protecting ourselves and getting in bed with them and making sure that there's there are a couple of ways we're linked with them that if China messes with them, they're messing with us without having to have soldiers on the ground is this. Start construction construction at a site 
um, uh, where it plans to spend $12 billion to build a computer chip factory. Uh, and then it says, and then you got to buy the red, your writer's thing. Um, there you go. Um, why Intel and TSMC are building water-dependent chip factories in one of the driest U.S. states? Uh, Grand Canyon State may not seem like the obvious place for chip foundry or fab, uh, since the high-tech manufacturing plants uh, guzzle millions of gallons of water every day. Arizona just received 13.1 inches of... Okay, blah, blah, blah. They're, it's because they're going to source it from someplace else. And the chip factory, like the part of the money that they're doing is helping them with water sourcing. That's the other thing. Um, U.S. semiconductor giant Intel said it plans to spend $20 billion on two new chip plants in Arizona separately. TSMC uh, said it was going to build a, one, a $12 billion factory in Arizona. Um, Chief Executive C.C. Way said Wednesday the construction had already begun. Grant uh, present the face of climate change. Arizona is facing a deepening water crisis. Arizona received just 13 six inches. Right there we go. Water is a key element in semi and semi manufacturing, but the infrastructure has been put in place to ensure adequate supply to meet the industry's current needs. Um, they're also going to do more with that technology to increase the water supply for them. So blah blah blah. Um, uh, da, 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 research firm Forrester. Uh, Intel notes on his website that is striving to achieve net positive water use in Arizona and that it has funded 15 water restoration projects that aim to benefit the state. Once fully implemented, these projects will restore an estimated 937 million gallons a year to the state. They're doing water reclamation. Get stop it out. Get out of there. I can't. I'm doing my show. I'm, I know I'm running late and I know you want to sit on my lap. And I know we're almost done. Can you hang out for just a minute, please? Can you please? Thank you for the licks. Thank you. That's very sweet. That's very nice. Can you just hang for a minute? I know you don't like the reading part. It's boring. But it's important. All right. <laughs> chip. And by the way, maybe it's because he keeps hearing computer chip and he thinks I'm talking about him. Okay. So, uh, and by the way, Andy Biggs is uh, apparently... All for slash all against these factories. Thinking about this, uh, I had just talked to a couple of restaurateurs in the last week or so, and they they can't mm. keep help, and they're they're paying well above the minimum wage, and there are so many jobs that are available in Arizona today, uh, even above that minimum wage, and a lot of this is because of the uh, the unemployment bonuses that were given in, and so you have this which have dried up and Arizona doesn't have anymore. Massive mm -hmm. um, shortage right now of labor. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Look at, re look at restaurant stocks. They're completely fucked. <laughs> it's, it's affecting everyone across the country. And as you say, restaurants... Yeah, th uh, look, everyone's just having a problem. Everyone's having to pay their, their waiters and stuff money because they don't... Feel like they, you know, they're getting enough for it, and they don't want to endanger their lives to work there again. And if they want them to come in for work, they're gonna to have to give them more money, and they're gonna to have to shut down things. And then once they start paying them, you're never gonna. Where's it gonna stop? Pay more and more to try and entice people to come and work. Uh, but I want to get what a ter what a terrible notion. Oh my God, a strong labor market, fear and mayhem, sadness and sorrow, broken and. and so this beaten. next one with you, uh, Congressman. You just returned from a visit to the southern border. Uh, uh, slat fence. Slat fence. That's a slat fence. Can you tell us what did you see? Well, it was uh, probably as as bad or, or even worse than I'd ever seen it. So I I went to. So so you blame the wall just like me? I I think it's the wall. That's what I think. That's 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 what I think. Yeah. Right. And that isn't that what the cause of everything is? This. The, Right? It's the, I blame the wall. We didn't have a wall. Somehow it was better. Under Obama, it was better. I think the, I think the wall, I, yes, I think the slat fe fence is to blame. Multiple mm. gaps. And, uh, and gaps in the wall that apparently wasn't there before, which under Obama, the numbers were lower. Um, and again, recidivism making these numbers, uh, you know, uh, artificially inflating them. But gap I went to, I mean, the first one they had just finished, uh, the CBP had just finished transporting a. Oh my God. More encounters. It's almost as if they're going through narrow passages in the, in the slat fence and they're easier to find. A lot. A big group um, uh, out of there. And there was just uh, a local law enforcement there was all that was there uh, at that gap. 
we moved to move to the next gap. And in the in the 45 minutes to an hour, I was there literally behind me, probably uh, as we were doing some some video for constituents, maybe a, 120 to 150 people just kept pouring through. And Ash, the, the, these people. Yeah. And they were being picked up by CBP and immediately expelled. Nobody said they weren't going to fucking try, dum-dum. Are coming across uh, very casually. They're dressed nice. They're dressed clean. They mm. probably flew into... Yeah. Ha remember remember the good old days when migrants were nice and dirty and wet and, and injured? Remember they, when they'd have open cuts and that kind of stuff? Now they're just... Sa they're, they're sashaying across being caught and then returned. Cali and Ubered over. No kidding. This is... This is a, a classy, they're being Ubered over. Casually, they're dressed nice, they're dressed clean. They mm. probably flew into Mexicali and Ubered over, no kidding. And uh, the, everyone has a... Fa has a... I, I'm, I'm guessing they check Ubers at the border. Where do you want to go? Uh, Tempe. Fuck, get out of the car. Cell phone, they're FaceTiming. They're, they're calling home and telling everybody how it is. Oh, okay. So they're they're gainfully employed in some other country, and they're basically seeking a better life. So they might actually be a valuable. So, so what you're saying is, is that these migrants are coming over, and they're tech savvy, well dressed, um, more than likely speak some or are better English than you, and might actually be able to take your job. Is that the concern? Again, CBP is overrun. They're transporting and. Well, they they don't seem to be overrun. They seem to be picking them up and uh, processing and it was local law enforcement that was uh, uh, meeting these people and they're just like i say they're walking across like they're walking into a store at walmart or something and being caught because the places that they're walking across it is they're aware of the point of crossing they, they go through that bottleneck and there was a guy standing there ready to write them a ticket figure out write down their names put them on a bus they get to make their asylum claim because they have small children with them. If they fail their asylum claim, then they go the fuck back. Beyond God. anything else, it's a national security uh, crisis. Yeah, I uh, know. Look at this girl in this dress. and uh, I mean, how do you not live in fear of this? I mean, these people are going to come over here and they're going to end up, uh, t you know, t how do you know that's not a bomb? You know what I mean? She could have a bomb in that bag. What do you mean, what about Ashley Babbitt having a backpack? Look. Ashley Babbitt was white. Have you heard anything, Con? She was climbing through a broken window, smashed by Antifa. I'm from the White House, what are they doing? The White House is, is not doing anything, really. Uh, my oh, okay. That, that, that would be... They're not doing anything, really. Let's see. Um, white House border efforts... Um, Biden and Harris administration's work to rebuild our immigration system after four years of chaos and mismanagement. The trend of border apprehensions in May is a reduction of individuals' unique encounters. <laughs> We've been there before. Yeah, that's right. Same fuckers walking back and forth again and again. We keep returning them. We're catching them. Uh, individuals, unique, and families below the peak in 2019. Border numbers fluctuate, however, based on annual migration trends, and that is why this administration is working to establish lawful pathways for individuals to migrate or seek protection, address the root cause of migration, restore fair and orderly humane means to apply for asylum and deter irregular migration. That's the when they put you on a bus and send you back to where you're from. The administration has made a significant progress. Okay, improved processing of unaccompanied children. Um... Let's see. The administration successfully reduced the number of unaccompanied children in U.S. Customs and Border Protection facilities from 5,676 in late March to 570 in June. That sounds like some work being done. The administration reduced the average amount of time children are at CBP facilities for 26 hours. Uh, oh, two 26 hours compared to 131 hours April 1st. Administration has reduced the number of unaccompanied children in the care of Department of Health and Human Services to under 16,000. For uh, from over 22,000 late April. Remove barriers to unifying children with parents and sponsors. Um, expanded access to fingerprinting sites to conduct background checks on sponsors that has resulted in reduced backlogs and long-distance travel for sponsors. Put in place overly, uh, oh, sorry, put in place orderly processes and protocols at the border. Through support and coordination with the government of Mexico, Department of State, 
and international organization partners, DHS has successfully processed over 11,900 eligible, eligible people who have been returned to Mexico under the migrant protection protocols to re-enter the United States to pursue their active U.S. immigration cases. DHS has developed a partnership model working uh, with the community. Blah, blah, blah. We've seen this. Expand lawful pathways for protection and opportunity. This is all the upside. Uh, enhanced migration management. Um, the Department of State to open the first migration resource center in Guatemala to provide individuals with protection screenings and referrals to asylum, refugee resettlement, and, and, and parole options, meaning not here. Hey, you can't come to the States. You're not going to qualify, but we will work with your own country and other countries nearby. Hey, let's do, hey, hey, silly, come here. Come here, you. Stop kicking around wires under the desk. It makes me worry. Every, all the lights are on. And then all the lights are going to go off all at once. The show's going to be over. And then what do I do? And then I've got a fried kitty. You're going to bite an electrical wire. And that'll just be heartbroken. I'm not letting... That's not happening. Stick around. Oh, Cosmic Rose, uh, I will check my venue... Sorry, whoops. Quit. Hold on. Hold on. Quit. I'm, I'm trying to... Whoop. Stay where you are, goofball. Um, whoop. I know you... Okay. Okay, hold still. All right, hold on one second. I've got, I'll put him outside for a minute because he's he's wanting to wrestle with everything in the room. <laughs> Will you get out of here, you crazy boy? Love you. Mm -hmm. I know, you're hungry. I'll feed you in a minute. I will. I feel like, every time I put him out, I feel like, the, I feel like Fred Flintstone. Um... Okay. Yeah, I don't want a fried kitty. <laughs> um, sorry, one second. This is the... Sarah, thank you so much for the 666. Appreciate that. And oh, and, and Doug Pinnock sent me a picture. Love you, Doug. Everybody send some love to Doug Pinnock uh, from King's X and, and uh, KXM. Love you, Doug. You're great. I miss you terribly. Hopefully, I will see you soon. I'm going to be in LA next week for two days. Got Mason's on Tuesday. Very important meeting on Wednesday, and then another uh, Nerd Halen rehearsal Wednesday night, and then I drive back again. Yes, we, Danny, we've talked about that this morning and this afternoon. So, we we'll see the beginning of the show. We talked about Betty. If you're coming in late, um, but because that will emotionally derail every everything we're doing. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> there we go. So. Uh, there was a, let's see, hold on one second. Uh, well, we talked about the recidivism stuff. Biggs is talking out of his ass. That's all you need to know. All right. Sources, uh, along the border tell me that we've caught, uh, more than four times. Here's here. Oh, we've caught more than four times. You mean the same people over and over fucking again? And they keep trying to cross at the same point. Cause they keep watching some shit on the news that says the border's open. I wonder where they got that idea. I wonder what network has assholes from the Republican Party on nonstop saying, Borden's just, Biden's just letting the border stay wide open. He's just saying, Biden, Biden's just like, you know, border's open, border's open, the border's open, basically the border's open. Biden's open door policy is Borden, Borden, open door, open border, policy, open borders. Fuck. The highest level of domestic, of people on the domestic terrorist, excuse me, on the terrorist watch list than ever before. Oh, good. So we've caught more people on, on and sorry, the domestic terrorist watch list? Uh, more than four times the highest level of domestic of people on the domestic terrorist, excuse me, on the terrorist watch list than ever before. That's what we have. The domestic, more people from the domestic terrorist watch list than ever before. All right. First of all, it, type of people that are on the domestic terror, like from people from Syria or some shit like that. And again, what's four times? There was one, now there's there were three more. Like, what do you, what the fuck are you talking about? Okay, hold a minute. Sorry, well, I have to look this up. This is going to drive me nuts. Uh, four times uh, domestic... Oh, sorry. And why would domestic terrorists be crossing the border? We kick them out of the country? What, I'm sorry, did... Did Ammon Bundy and his fucking whole family go on a trip to Mexico with Ted Cruz? Uh, four times domestic terrorist watch list border crossings caught. I don't know what the fuck this is, how we're going to get something like this. 
Uh, U.S. arrest two Yemenis on terror watch list. Now, anybody want to look at the date on this? Four people on terror watch list arrested on southern border since October. This is an article from March 16th. This is four times the number of people. All right. Four people on the FBI's terror watch list have been arrested at the southern border since October, reports it. Three of the people were from Yemen, others from Serbia. Customs and Border Protection said on Tuesday, according to the terror watch list, a revelation came to Republican lawmakers touring the border. I said some suspected terrorists have been heading to the crossing along with tens of thousands. Yes, they've been heading over here since October of, you know, I mean, this is from March. Biden's only been president for what? Eight weeks, six weeks. Depends on when it was March 16th, eight weeks. Individuals on the watch list, we need to wake up, said Republican. In the past two, fis uh, two fiscal years, fewer than four people on the watch list have been busted at the border. Uh, six people from Yemen and Bangladesh were arrested in, phys in fiscal year 2018. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Fucking four of them in since October of a year Trump was president. Six in one year in 2018 under Trump. Yeah, exactly. The, the, the four numbers, that, like, uh, uh, fucking hell. In fiscal year 2017, more than 3,700 people on the watch list were stopping. What? Mainly at airports. Okay, that's, yeah, this is the, the difference is the southern border. 3,700 people on the watch list were stopped by the Department of Homeland Security, mainly at airports. That's pretty standard, fair. Um, So, and then there was, like, here's another one. Uh, CBP removes press release about migrants on the U.S. border. This is May 7th. Uh, about migrants on the U.S. terror watch list across the southern border. Um, amid a gathering mass migration pr uh, crisis on the south the border, the U.S. government announced on Monday that two Yemeni nationals who illegally crossed from Mexico into California were already on the FBI's terrorism watch list before their arrival. Agency removed the statement within 24 hours with no explanation, but too late. One of the Yemenis had said it was one of the FBI's rarefied no-fly lists, probably because they were like, don't say that we got them. They have people that were following them, and we want them to think they got through. Normally reserved for people U.S. They just are highly intelligent. So they, they caught them. Um... Uh, U.S. agencies regarded as real. Okay, whatever, blah, blah. Center for Immigration Studies, yada, yada. Four people matching terrorists. Well, this is the same story. So four times the number. Even though, And by the way, that four times number uh, includes uh, more months um, that Trump was president. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. This year, just, just, just this year alone, it's a massive national security crisis. Just, just, the, just this fiscal year alone, which ends in April. It's a humanitarian crisis, um, and and it's not going to get. Which, what, what's, what's the humanitarian crisis? By the way, that we fucking caught them. Apparently, you guys get upset whenever we bust people coming across the border who are dangerous or bust drugs. You notice how upset they get? Because this administration is doing nothing about it. No, absolutely. I mean, is the border wall and the building of the border wall? Hey, look. Uh, Align Technologies is doing very well. Um, Align Technology Inc. 666.32. They're not pointing that out? <laughs> I'm just saying. I should have bought stock in it when it was $6.66. I could have already bought uh, uh, 666 Fifth Avenue. The answer. Uh, it, it is a significant um, detriment, but it, it takes... It takes mm -hmm. it's, it's a, you can do a number of things, but I mean, like I said... Is it just me or does it really fuck their whole conversation to be all sour pussy when, when the sour puss e as in ish, that sounded weird. Um, that, that with this happening and that happening and that happening and that happening, you know what I mean? It's like they're mad at good news. We, this is on Fox mile, Business. Uh, stretch, I can show you lots of gaps yeah. along the border that people just pour over. I can show you a place with. 
Yeah, and they got busted. 62 miles, linear miles, that have nothing but like a Normandy barrier. And nobody stays out on a Normandy uh, barrier. They all just cross. And this, and so well, offenses, entire, it would be helpful. Uh, oh, well, I mean, it's, has it been like this for fucking ever? Yeah. What do we used to do? Well, we wait until they get on, you know, like further in and we catch them. But some of them, it's just area. It's a, What he's talking about, a Normandy barrier is unclimbable rocks. <laughs> Thanks, Gwen. Something. You know, what impact is this having on those cities and towns near the border? We know that CPB is really overrun, but what impact is this having on the, the, the people of Arizona? Yeah, what? Uh, yeah, apparently they're getting fucking three new chip factories. It must be horrifying. They're about to get $900 million in water aid. <sighs> Well, you've got social services uh, providers that are maxed out. You know, they're 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 dealing with this. You have uh, an increase in crime rates, uh, <laughs> which, by the way, uh, in increasing crime rates. Yeah, that's not uh, immigrants doing that largely. If you're going to make the case that they are, he won't. He'll just go increasing crime rates because everybody knows crime's going up. It must be that the illegals are coming across and doing all these horrible horribles. And, and so, almost so you got detention facilities that are stretched. You've got hospitals that are dealing with folks that are coming across the border as well. And so all of the, all of us. By the by the way, the illusion that he's making there is that they're coming across with like COVID and AIDS and not they're just in, injured people or they're helping them or you know, they're finding a dehydrated child. So they're putting them on a lactated ringer so they don't fucking die. You know, pro-life. Social services are being stretched to 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 the limit, and um, you know I will say that there, you know you've got a lot of private sector folks that are trying to help out that have done a great job yeah. uh, help, uh, in assisting. But I mean it's 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 a terrible situation right now. It's just yeah, it's terrible. It's just so fucking terrible that we're catching the same people over and over again that we're providing social services and medical help for people that are injured or sick when they come across the border and they're still getting sent home the vast majority of them because well like they're not if you if you have an open wound they're not going to not clean it and bandage it before they go your plane is waiting thanks bye now i i know republicans would rather that happen